Hi guys, I'm back in my camp and yesterday we made this very awesome survival bow and today it's time to make arrows and I have collected some hazelnut shots and of these three I have to say that probably this one is the straightest so uh, first off I'm going to peel off the bark and make sure that you are using your fingernails because otherwise with a knife you might damage the surface and then the arrow might break. Okay, that's it. The length is perfect. So now I have a tip. For an arrow you need some kind of feathers and I have found some crow feathers and now I'm going to split them. And if you want to use real feathers, be sure that you use feathers from one wing only so they all spin in the same direction. Okay, now let's talk about the tip of the arrow. If you leave it like that, it will soon become stump and then the arrow gets too short. So today I want to use this old can which I had at my camp. And yeah, when it comes to survival you need to utilize everything you have. And now I want to make myself a tip which is protecting the arrow from breaking and getting blunt. Okay, it's getting dark and I need my flashlight. And now it's time to glue the tip and the feathers to the arrow. Okay, now I need a little bit of cordage to secure the feathers and knock point. And earlier I have harvested a stinging nettle and stinging nettle actually makes very good cordage for such small tasks. Okay, our arrow is ready. We have a steel tin enforced tip and we have some fletchings from crow feathers which I secured with pine resin and stinging nettle cordage and we have a nice knock point. I did a couple of shots and the arrow is still in very good condition. The tip doesn't come off, the feathers are still on, so pretty good arrow. Yeah, I have to say this is my favorite flashlight. It's a headlamp and as you can see I had both of my hands free to shoot bow and arrow. So I really recommend to take a headlamp with you into the woods. And this in particular one is pretty easy. Uh, you only have one button and if you keep it pressed it selects uh, three different modes low medium and high and it even has an SOS mode 
So if you are in trouble, this flashlight can really save your life. I want to thank you guys for watching and I want to thank the company Frunet for sponsoring this video. If you want to see other videos, check out my channel and please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time. Bye.